the next group of organisms that we are going to discuss are the gram positive filamentous organisms and what are the two that come under it number one we have nocardia which is very very important and the other one is going to be actinomyces now actually there is a way of learning both of these i have tried to make a short story around both of these so that it becomes very easy to learn first i'll tell you the theory then you'll realize that the theory is tough so you'll come down to the mnemonic which is much easier so first i'll talk you the talk to you about the theory of nocardia so first and foremost why are they grouped together because both of them are gram positive and both of them are going to have some kind of filamentous structure so the gram positive filamentous bacteria are going to be there right so when i say nocardia nocardia is a strict aerobe it requires oxygen it is 1% acid fast where is it found it is not inside our body it is found in the soil it is a soil related uh, habitat it obviously enters into our lungs so it causes pulmonary involvement other than pulmonary it can go to the brain the culture technique for it is the paraffin bait technique and the treatment is by sulfonamides now reading this is difficult retaining it will be all the more difficult so how should i learn nocardia remember nocardia is just like nature let me show you a story what do i mean nocardia is like nature what all do you have in nature guys you'll say ma'am we have the air air has oxygen air has carbon okay then the nature also has soil we have to take the bad also of the nature ma'am these days the air also has acid rain we only you don't have to think of good things nature has good bad everything right it is going to be acid rain so can you basically and also nature has plants ma'am nature has plants so if i turn and listen that okay nocardia is about nature nature has oxygen from the plants means is it going to be a strict aerobe is it always going to require oxygen yes if it is going to be an oxygen related plant related and soil related thing so is it going to be present in the soil is soil the natural habitat yes so from the soil and the plants why are needing too much of oxygen where is it going to go it's going to go into the lungs so from the plants all the oxygen goes into the lungs so which is the most common organ affected the most common organ affected will be pulmonary involvement fine then why do i say nature also has acid rain because this is the organism which is 1% acid fast this is the organism which is showing you 1% acid fast when i talk about one thing left ma'am in your um, air that is carbon so you do you know on culture it shows you something the technique that we use is the paraffin bait technique so basically this organism needs carbon to grow this organism needs carbon to grow that is the technique that is why i made you learn carbon and you know who is going to give it carbon paraffin is going bait what do you understand by bait anyone who's done fishing what do you do in fishing to that fishing rod you attach some food na that is a bait that you are trying to catch the fish with that food so that is a bait okay so same way you are trying to put a little bit of carbon that carbon will come from paraffin that paraffin is like a bait that okay if i put carbon then this nocardia is going to grow because nocardia wants to use the carbon so now putting your entire story together number one story says because um, nature nocardia nature so oxygen is going to be there in the nature so it's a strict aerobe carbon is going to be there so that is why i give carbon by paraffin bait paraffin bait technique nature also has acid rain this is 1% acid fast okay then the soil and the plants are there the habitat is the soil and the plants and all the oxygen goes into my lungs so the most common involvement is pulmonary this means now actinomyces will be opposite is actinomyces going to be a strict aerobe no ma'am actinomyces is anaerobe will it need carbon it will not need carbon is it going to be acid fast it is not going to be acid fast is it going to be present in the soil it is not going to be present in the soil so basically everything of actinomyces is the opposite then what is it about actinomyces that i have to know please remember i have learned actinomyces is everything to do with mouth so where is the habitat if someone asks you what is the habitat of actinomyces everything to do with mouth is going to be there so the habitat is the mouth number 1 number 2 what is the clinical feature because i said mouth then the swelling will also be here there is an oral involvement there is basically a jaw swelling that can occur so there is an oral involvement and a jaw swelling so there is going to be a jaw swelling which is very commonly noted and 
please remember that there is an SSS thing that is said means first and foremost there is going to be a swelling where is the swelling going to be in the jaw from the jaw there can also be involvement of the sinus so there can be sinusitis and you know the discharge that come out comes out has sulfur yellow color sulfur granules so remember that there is a jaw swelling so swelling s for swelling that can involve the sinuses so there is sinusitis and sulfur granules are seen coming out Apart from that, you can also have go a little bit below the jaw. There can also be cervical involvement. Cervical involvement or swelling can occur. Jaw swelling, cervical swelling, sinusitis. This entire region is affected and there is involvement of sulfur granules. What else? You will say, ma'am, what kind of colonies does it show you? Mnemonic is mouth. Everything is happening around the mouth. So, the colonies should also be related to the mouth. It is related to the molar. You know how? Because there is a beautiful mnemonic. Actinomyces shows you beautiful molar tooth colonies. Actinomyces again related to mouth and can you see it's showing you these obviously they are looking like tiny tiny molar teeth which are spread all over. This shows you that it's so beautiful now how someone must have imagined it. So molar tooth colonies are seen in actinomyces. So please remember when I say actinomyces everything is mouth. The natural habitat is the mouth, the location of the disease is all around the mouth and the Colonies are also the molar tooth colonies. Now, please remember, I told you that what is the treatment for both of them? For the treatment, you have to remember the mnemonic SNAP. What is SNAP? That is sulfonamide is the treatment of nocardia. Sulfonamide is the treatment of nocardia. And what is the treatment of actinomyces? For the treatment of actinomyces, you have penicillin. Let's do a recap. What is SNAP mnemonic? Sulfonamide is the treatment of nocardia and for actinomyces you have penicillin. So now let's go back to that particular table and now let's see has life become a little easier. See nocardia was everything to do with nature so it required a lot of oxygen it was strict aerobe. Actinomyces is not. Nocardia acid rain nature so acid fasta. Actinomyces is not. Nocardia was in nature it was in soil and plants. Actinomyces everything to do with mouth. Nocardia was going into our nocardia was going into our lungs because all the oxygen goes into the lungs. Actinomyces will be jaw along with jaw it will go to the cervical it will go to the sinus all of that area. Okay for the culture you needed carbon for actinomyces nature related carbon related so paraffin bait technique whereas what do you see for actinomyces mouth related so molar tooth colonies. What is the treatment? Sulfonamides were for nocardia and for actinomyces you have penicillin. Now is this table tough? I don't think so. If you remember nocardia in the form of nature and actinomyces in the form of mouth, everything is sorted. The only thing that you are left with at this point of time is seeing the pictures of both of them. So this is the picture of nocardia. Firstly, they are gram positive, right? The first thing that I told you were that they were gram positive filamentous fungus means even nocardia uh, filamentous uh, bacteria. So they are gram positive filamentous bacteria even the nocardia and even the actinomyces so that is why gram positive over here has given you a purple color but apart from that did i tell you they were also acid rain wala concept nature wala was it also acid fast so can you see that that entangled mass and this came as a recent exam question that entangled filamentous mass is nothing but nocardia versus if i now show you actinomyces i think everyone knows remember i was telling you some sulfur granules will come out how will those sulfur granules look under the microscope? Filamentous. So filamentous again, it is going to look like this. Sun ray appearance. If you zoom into this, you will see. Can you see these uh, very classical, these purple, purple things coming out? These are the different sun ray filaments that you have over here. Now, if you've been noticing carefully, this much area is fine. Yes, ma'am, I can see the sun ray. But around it, do you guys notice there is a pinkish layer that is surrounding it? Can you all see there is a pinkish hue that comes around it? So if I want to draw it, I will say that fine, there is a purple purple color ka aisa sun ray appearance. And all around it, there is a pinkish color thing. Because this is pinkish color phenomena is known as the splendor hopley phenomena. This is referred to as the splendor Hopley phenomena. What is splendor Hopley? So there is a lot of, uh, you know, hypothesis given around it. I'll give you the most accepted theory, right? So they are saying actinomyces is obviously an antigen. Every bacteria is an antigen. And along with actinomyces, if antigen is coming in the body, you will make antibodies. 
So splendor Hopley phenomena is nothing but aggregates of antigen antibody. Basically, splendor Hopley phenomena is nothing but immune complexes getting deposited. That is what is making that pinkish row around that organism. If you have read and if you've read the mycology section, you must have read that the similar splendor Hopley phenomena is seen in some fungus also. Anywhere else that you see the splendor Hopley phenomena, it's seen in a very famous fungus called sporothrix. So if you've not read it, never mind. But note it that when you will go to fungus, the same antigen antibody splendor Hopley phenomena you will be seeing in sporothrix shenkai also. Okay, having said that, there is one variation. Now tell me one thing, actinomyces, is it, gram, is it uh, acid fast or non-acid fast? You said nocardia was, nocardia was acid rain, nocardia was nature, acid rain. So that was acid fast, actinomyces is non-acid fast. But if I talk about actinomyces Israeli, things are going to change. So please remember, firstly, actinomyces Israeli shows you yellow color sulfur granules. Yellow color sulfur granules are going to be seen in actinomyces israeli and many students learn it as that israel israel is going to have yellow sand israel has yellow sand okay so israel has yellow sand therefore israeli is going to have yellow color sulfur granules and that can be acid fast so israel is not only having yellow sand israel is also a very fast developing country okay so that is how you can just learn it israel is a fast developing country and israel is going to have yellow sand but remember, Israeli is going to be associated with a lot of infections and II things. Firstly, it is associated with the intrauterine contraceptive device users. Secondly, it is used, it is associated with pelvic inflammatory diseases. So, inflammatory and intrauterine II things are going to come with Israeli. Lastly, before we end this, can these two infections coexist? Can there be a nocardia and actinomyces occurring together? Yes, it can cause actinomycetoma or mycetoma foot. They can sometimes coexist or combinate also. And you can see there are so many discharging sinuses. There are so many discharging sinuses that you have over here. You can see the discharge coming out. You can see the yellow color coming out. So, a combination is also possible. This is mycetoma foot and yes, this is bacterial. A very similar situation, madura foot, you will also be reading under fungal. Over there, I have told you the difference between actinomyces as well as the different fungal organisms that you read over there, you mycetoma and also then when you go to that part of the chapter, mycology, you will see the differences there as well. For the time being, this was the differences to do with the gram-positive filamentous bacteria that is nocardia and actinomyces and I hope the nature mnemonic, the mouth mnemonic and the snap mnemonic for the treatment is going to stay with you.